Good morning and welcome to my channel Let's Pack Barbados Bringing you another video at location Hmm, what's your creator? Today's video I am going to be sharing with you my 10 tips that you need to know before you come to Barbados. Tap water is safe to drink. Tap water here in Barbados meets the standards of the World Health Organization, which means you do not have to buy bottled water. So tip number one, is do not buy bottled water. Save your money. Don't be surprised if you get rain in the dry season. It can be sunny one minute and the next minute it's raining. But it's still warm. Actually, in Barbados, there are two seasons, the wet season and the dry season. The wet season is from June to November. The dry season is from December to May. We have noticed, and I'm sure lots of people will say the same, climate change is definitely affecting Barbados like it is affecting the entire world. So my top tip, bring an umbrella. Yes, an umbrella. You will thank me. And also bear in mind that umbrella can be used to keep the sun off you as well. In Barbados, we drive on the left hand side of the road. Now, in Barbados, like the UK where I am from, they drive on the left hand side of the road. So, if you are not used to the left hand side of the road, you need to familiarise yourself with that. Now, top tip. If it's raining, you must slow down. Yes, you must slow down. Do not drive into puddles and splash people. It's very, very important that you don't do that. And you will see that Barbadians don't. I know that from my experience of walking, when it rains here, it can really rain a lot in a very short space of time. And if somebody drove through that puddle, Believe me, you would be soaked. Now, listen up to this one. Camouflage clothing of any kind, whether it's khaki, gray, green, blue, whatever, it is not allowed. This is because Camouflage is reserved exclusively for the Barbados Defence Force. You will be stopped if you are carrying it in your suitcase, if you are wearing it. People have been stopped at the airport for wearing it and you will be told to remove it before you can move any further. Or if it's in your suitcase, it will be taken from you so just be aware of this. Top tip, leave your camouflage clothing at home. The beaches. As we know, the beaches are spectacular. They are stunning. However, there are certain uh, potential hazards you need to bear in mind when you visit or come to live in Barbados to ensure your safety. The manchineel tree can be seen on many beaches. The fruit is poisonous and the sap from the tree, when it rains, could cause blistering. So it really is important. You do not want to be caught out under that tree if it's raining. Now you'll say, how will I recognize that tree? you will recognize it because it has red bands painted around the tree trunk so you will definitely see them do not handle the fruit do not eat the fruit so top tip if it rains move away 
Now, make sure you swim safely when you are in Barbados. And the way to do that is if you go to a beach and there are lifeguards, then of course, make sure you go to the lifeguard stand and check the flags. There are two flags you really need to know, the red flag and the yellow flag. The red flag means do not go into the water because the currents are very aggressive and are dangerous. Do not go into the water. And actually, the yellow flag, for me, I would not go into the water either. And if in doubt or there is no lifeguard, always check with a local because they will be able to advise you. They know their waters, they know their beaches. Now, remember, not all beaches have lifeguards. So it is really important that you do look very carefully. And if you see that it's very windy, the waves are very choppy, do not go in. One of the things I really love about the beaches is that there are different types of beaches all over the island. If you go to the north or you go to the east, you will see that the beaches are much more rugged, more natural setting. The waves generally are much more aggressive. So it really is important that you understand that some beaches in these areas are really just for the scenery and not really for your average swimmer. Unless of course you go to say Bathsheba, you will see people surfing there. And of course the locals know where there are little quiet shallow spots which are safe to swim in. So if you want to swim, my advice would be the South Coast and the West Coast. They are well known for having pristine beaches uh, and for having calm waters. Yes, mosquitoes, those pesky little flying insects. Some people, they can cause a lot of misery. Here are some preventative measures you can put in place to ensure you do not get bitten by mosquitoes. First tip, they are generally active at dawn and at dusk. So at those times, I would suggest you keep your windows closed, wear loose clothing and light clothing as well. They don't like the light colors, they prefer dark colors. So I wouldn't wear black unless you have to. They do recommend you wear DEET mosquito repellent. And I do use DEET, but I tend to spray it onto my clothes. But in terms of what I would put on my skin, I use the citronella, uh, lemongrass, uh, peppermint, all of those kinds of natural oils are perfect because mosquitoes do not like those natural uh, aromas. You can also, if you're inside sleeping one night and you know there's mosquitoes, use a fan. They do not like the artificial wind, they don't like any wind. So use the fan and that will help to keep them at bay. Watch out for the monkeys. Definitely watch out for the monkeys. It is important to enjoy the wildlife here in Barbados, but we also have to be very respectful of the wildlife as well. One of the first things you may well be surprised to hear is that we actually have monkeys here. Yes, monkeys. <laughs> and the monkeys can be very mischievous. So my advice would be to, yes, look at them, take photographs from afar, but don't get too close to them because they are very protective, especially if they have little babies. So don't get too close. If you happen to have a garden with fruit, don't be surprised that you might find the monkeys invading your fruit garden. To take your bananas or whatever fruit. Yes, <laughs> don't, don't be surprised if that happens. But I love to see them uh, in our garden. They pass through twice a day. Have beautiful turtles here on the island.
they are protected. The Wi-Fi here is very good. It's actually the best in the entire Caribbean. Did you know that Barbados has the highest broadband speed in the Caribbean? Did you? I didn't until I came to Barbados. And that is one of the reasons why you have so many remote workers who come here. And if you're interested to know, there is a welcome stamp visa for people who are able to work remotely. Now, you may find you fit that criteria. So that could be another way to come to Barbados. It's a 12 month remote working visa. Uh, let me know if you'd like to have some more information about that. I can certainly do a video on that. And uh, on the island, I'm meeting a lot of people who are working here on that particular visa. So the infrastructure is really set up for remote working. So again, if you decided you wanted to come to uh, retire here for part of the year and you had a job which you could work remotely, then Barbados is the perfect place. So that is a very important consideration. Grocery bills are high, will be high, unless you shop like a local. The reason why it is expensive to shop and buy food stuffs here in Barbados is because most of the food stuff is imported from other countries particularly America, Canada, and so on. And therefore, that's what makes it expensive, the importation taxes and costs, and the shipping costs. So I have a few tips for you. Go for the local brands and not for the brands that you may know from home, because if you do, you will pay a premium. Also, just remember that the products that you will find in the shops could vary from one week to the next, depending on importation. But my number one tip is shop with the locals, shop with the local vendors. You will see the street sellers in the high streets, go to the local markets, some of it grown, locally grown, organic. You will save a lot of money and you will get excellent quality. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit the notification bell and comment and subscribe. Hmm, what's your creator? Oh, yeah. Ha. I know this must sound